konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So, this is our last class today and we are going to continue with conditionals. We did to in our last class and I hope that uh, to is clear now to you all and all your doubts are now over and you can use to very, very freely in conversation. There are two other conditional words that we have to do, tara and ba. So, we are going to do those today, but before that as we always do, I want you to listen to this kaiva and then we will see what is new and I will do the explanation. So, let us see what we have here today for you. Rao san wa ryoko gaisha de hataraite imasu. Kyu ni mira san wa Rao san ni deatta toki ni a sashiburi desu ne to kiitan desu yo. Rao san wa chotto isogashikatta no de ano kotaitan desu kedo ma ureshiku nakatta kara Rao san ni mira san wa ironna shitsumo no shimashita. Dakara kono kaiwa wa sono hanashi desu. Yoku mina san kiite kudasai. Sashiburi desu ne Rao san. So ne. 最近ちょっと忙しいです。旅行会社は忙しいでしょうね。旅行会社に入ったら海外旅行ができると思ったけど、でも一回もまだですか？そうです。休みもないし、残業もないですよ。あら、それは大変ですね。うん。二人の会話
I have not even been once even though I thought that if I join a travel agency, I will be going out regularly for vacation. And then he says, Yasumi mo nai shi, shi you have done meaning and. So, Yasumi mo nai shi, there is no Yasumi and Zangyo mo arimasen, that is we do not even get overtime. It is always just work, work and work. Ah, sore wa taihen desu ne. Taihen always will have a meaning which is slightly towards the negative, meaning that you are having a tough time. So, sore wa taihen desu ne, that is really tough on you. So, this is a small kaiwa, but there is tara form over here and taihen over here. One expression, sashi buri. So, let us see. What are the kanjis that we have today? Isogashi, so isogashi is very very simple and like this, isogashi. Ryoko gaisha, kaisha you already know, ryoko is ikuno kanji and then kai gai ryoko foreign travel, ikkai mo not even once yasumi. So, we have covered most of them we will do the remaining soon. Now, there was a form over there which was tara and tara is a conditional which we are going to do. It is the easiest conditional of the three and it is most widely used in conversation. And as you know from the word itself, there has to be a condition attached for the final result. So, Tara means that whatever the event, action or situation that is going to occur in sentence 2 will be only possible when the condition in sentence 1 is fulfilled. Now, what does that mean actually? So, well you know that there is sentence 1 and there is sentence 2 and because it is a conditional, whatever happens over here, the result you can see here or this part is dependent on this. If this is not happening, sentence 1 is not taking place, then there is no way you can get sentence 2 or the result. So, with to we had done that it is for natural causes, easiest way to understand that if you do a certain thing for example, if you press a button in a room, then you will get light, it will become very bright. So, with tara what happens now? Tara is easy to use and whatever you cannot do with to and there were lot of rules for using to, you can do all those things in tara form. For example, tenki ga yokat tara, if the tenki is good, sampo ni ikimasu. So, what do we want to do? We want to do this, but how can we do this? Only if this is good. If it is not good, then I am not doing this part. So, tenki ga yokattara. If it is good, I will go for sampo. Similarly, ame ga futtara. If it rains, if it rains, I will not go. If it does not rain, I will go. So, these are the kind of sentences you can make and this is the easiest and simplest way you can use a conditional without too much of problem, without trying to remember all the rules and say what you want to say. Now, you can see how it can be used with verbs, with adjectives and with nouns. So, the rule is very simple, iku and what is the past for iku? Plain form is itta. So, you can add ra to itta, the past form of the verb and make tara form, which is a conditional, which means if or when, in a situation like this. When this situation occurs, then you will see the result. So, we can have other verbs also like yonda, nonda, katta, matta. 
and what do we do with it? We just add ra to it. So, what will happen? Yon dara, yon dara, non dara, kat tara, kat tara and mat tara or su vatta, su vat tara. So, this is all group 1. What happens in group 2? Ta, beru. So, we remove the ru, put ta beta in past form. Then, how will we make the tara? Ta beta ra. Simple. So, over here the ru is removed for group 2 and ta beta ra, mi tara, etcetera can be made. Then with adjectives what happens? Takai, takai, taka, katta and as you can see ra is added over here. So, taka, katta, ra and you can make with other adjectives for example, yasui, Yasu, katta, and then you add ra to it. So, yasu katta ra, and that is how you can make the tara form for i adjectives. Then, with nouns and na adjectives, what do you do? You put that tara over here. Sensei, that tara. This is da, and deshta is datta past tense. So, past tense plus ra over here, sensei datta ra aimas, sensei jana katta ra aimasen. So, now let us see some example sentences and try to understand how to use tara form with verbs. So, okane ga na katta ra. Ryoko ni ikanai. If I do not have money, then I will not go. Nai. Arimasen. Nai. Nakatta. And plus ra. So, nakatta ra ikimasen. Okane ga atta ra. Uchi o kaimasu. Au. Atta. Plus ra if I have money, if I do not have money or when I have money, I will buy a house. If I do not have money, I will not go for Ryoko. So, you can see these are all very normal situations, normal day to day conversations and you can use Tara very freely. Then, seta o kitara samuku nai desu. If you wear your sweater, it will not be very samui, kitara. Kiru, group 2. Then, Toshi o tottara, yama no naka ni sumimasu. So, I can talk about my desire as well. I can be hypothetical. I can show that I want to do a certain thing or do not want to do a certain thing. So, Toshi o tottara, this is a fact. As you grow older, then yama no naka ni sumitai or sumimas I give my decision, I show my desire by sumitai. So, all these things you can do with tara, toshio tottara, toru is the verb, toru totta plus ra as you advance in age, toshi is age, toshio toru to, what is the resultant? Shigoto ga dekinaku naru. So, you are unable to perform shigoto that well. Toshi o toru to. So, over here to can come because it is a natural occurrence which is going to happen with everybody. With age, you will gradually not do as much as you could do when you were younger. So, toshi o toru to and toshi o tottara yama no naka ni sumitai or sumi. Shigoto ga hayaku owatta ra, 
uchi ni ikite kudasai. There is lots more for you today to understand tara form. So, shigoto ga hayaku owattara quickly from hayai, 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 hayaku, change it into an adverb, hayaku owattara. If you are able to finish it quickly, uchi ni ikite kudasai, so request. Then, jikan ga attara ryoko ni ikitai. When I have time or if I have time, I want to go for a vacation. O shitai can also be used over here. I want to do ryoko. Then, nihon ni ittara kimono o kaimasu. So, when I go to Japan, I will buy a kimono. Or nihon ni ittara onsen ni ikimasu. I will go to a hot spring. So, all these things you can use with the tara form freely. Then I have already told you how it is made. So, iku ikanai and it is made in the past form. So, itta and ra. Plain past for iku is itta, ikanai is ikana katta, iki masen deshta, iki mashta. So then ikana katta ra and itta ra. That is how it is going to be made. I can make it for another uh, verb han, hanasu. Hanasa nai. This is the plain form. Then hana shita and hana shina kata. Instead of the mas form, as is given over here, I am using the plain form. It is easy to make the ra form from there. So hanashta ra and hanashina kata. Ta ra. So you can you can make with yomu, nomu, kau, au, varau, yobu. This is your this is your homework. Make with all these. Make tara form and make some sentences. You'll feel comfortable. Now, how do you make the tara form with I adjectives? So, yoi, yokatta and yokatta ra, just like verbs, it is not different from verbs at all. As we all know, adjectives have some component of verb in them. So, rao san yokatta ra, if it is all right with you, kondo no nichiyobi ni, coming nichiyobi. Sunday ni, time expression ni, mata once again. So, umi e ikimashoka or umi ni ikimashoka, both are correct. So, that means that they have already been once to the umi, that is the beach, and Rao san's friend wants to go again. So, he is asking Rao san, Rao san yo kattara kondo no nichiyobi ni, mata umi, umi is beach. Seaside e ikimashou ka? Shall we go? Then, Mira san, sabishikatta ra denwa o kudasai. Mira, she has just gone to Japan, she has not made so many friends, so her friend tells her, Mira san, sabishikatta ra. Sabishi i. Sabishi i. Sabishi kattara. If you are or when you are a little homesick, then then washte kudasai. If you feel lonely, then washte kudasai. You are welcome to call me. Then tenki ga yokattara. Kaimono ni ikimasu. Just like our sentence in the previous slide, yokattara kaimono ni ikimasu. If it is good. If the tenki is good, if weather is good, it is nice and bright and sunny, 
私は買い物に行きます。I'll go do shopping. Otherwise, よくなかったら、よくなかったら、行きません。If it is not good, I will not go. If it is good, I will go. So, tara form. Yoi is the adjective. So, keep that in mind. Then, yo kattara. Tabete mite kudasai. So, it is a request. Request over here. So, yo kattara. If you feel it is alright, if you feel up to it, if you want to eat it, yo kattara. If you think it is tasty, tabete mite kudasai. Please eat and see. Verb in te plus te plus kudasai form mite. The second verb over here is mite and then kudasai. Tabete mite kudasai. Please eat and see. Then kaban wa takakattara kawanai. So I have openly stated or said that if it is expensive, I am not going to buy it. Yasu kattara kaimas. Yasu kattara kaimas. If it is cheap, I am going to buy it. It is right here. Yasu kattara kaimas. So, the kanji for yasui is easy. That is why I am giving it to you over here. So, 1, 2, 3 and this is onna no hito. So, yasui and takai you already know is like this takai. Then you have another kanji over here which is tenki like this and ki I told you last time like this tenki. Tenki ga yokattara I will do a certain activity. Then you have some kanjis which were there in your kaiva and in your previous slides. So this is ame. Now you make this over here like this and it becomes den that is electricity and this is 7. This is you just this kanji which means to speak and then if you add tongue over here ha na su, ha na su to talk. And similarly, you have this is a 13 stroke character, then sha, then sha. You know what then sha is, I do not have to tell you. Then there is a new kanji for you here today. This is ima, of course, you all know ima, and then over here, like this and do and the same character is used for indo in and do so con do next time con do next time then you have umi of course this is not the correct way to draw it or make the character the first side should be this which is the radical and then we have this and this over here, which is umi, which is uh, sea, ocean sea is umi. So, these are some of the characters. I am not giving you details of these characters because I want you to learn them with words. It is easier and faster because we are not in that environment where we get to see kanji characters every day. If you learn single characters, well to join them together makes it a little difficult for us as we are in a non-Japanese environment. So, try to learn them through words. Then there are some similar looking kanjis. You have done two of them earlier. There is a new one today. So, this is haha and the base of these other two kanjis is also haha. So, this is haha which is mother, then you have 
this over here which is a straight line which is my used in my nichi every day and then this is umi like this umi which is ocean or sea. So, they are all very similar do not get confused. This is haha. Then how will you make ra form for i adjectives? It is exactly like verbs. So, you have takai remove the i from here and past tense is taka katta. This katta is put in past tense. To the katta you put ra. So, taka katta ra. Similarly, you have samui. So, cut the i remove the i and put katta to make past tense and from past tense you make ra form. Similarly, you have yasui we did just now remove the i and make yasukatta and to this form put ra making it yasukatta ra in the tara form. Similarly, for this one yasuku nai yasukuna katta and yasukuna katta ra in this manner try to make for a few adjectives it will be easy for you to remember. Then we also have with nouns watashi no uchi dattara if it is my house if it is my house it is all right daijobu this. Watashi no uchi de party o shitara daijobu desu yo. Watashi no uchi dattara watashi wa kamai masen kamai masen we have done this I will not mind. Then Tanaka sensei janakattara hanashimasen if it is not Tanaka sensei not Tanaka sensei I will not talk I will talk to only Tanaka sensei. Then Indo no kare rice dattara e this kare rice this has become a dish now in Japan. So, Indo no kare rice rice and curry dattara ok this I will eat or I have no objection to kare rice. You can have it in the menu for any party. Genki janakattara do shimasu ka? If you are not well, then what are you going to do? Do shimasu ka? So, this is inquiry. If you are not well, if you are late, do shimasu ka? Osoku nattara, do shimasu ka? Osoi, osoi, osoku nattara. Do suru informal. I told you last time that the Japanese do use this form a lot, this shortened version for everything, and you get to hear a lot of it in animation. So, osoku nattara do suru informal. Now, how will you make tara form with nouns and na adjectives? So, sensei dattara. So, this da deshita datta deva nai deva na katta. So, datta and deva na katta. So, sensei noun datta plus ra noun dattara and noun jana katta and ra like this. So, similarly with na adjectives kirei datta and kirei jana kattara kirei dattara kirei jana kattara 
Genki Dattara, it is given over here Genki Dattara and Genki Janakattara, Kirei Dattara and Kirei Janakattara. So, we will understand this again from sentences. Genki Dattara, Genki Dattara, Tomo Dachi ni ai mas. I will meet only if I am well. Genki janakattara ai masen. Janakattara ai masen. I will not meet. So, try to make sentences like this. It will be easy. You will not have to always remember the form. It will automatically come. Now, when to use this Tara form? So, the easiest way to remember Tara is whatever you cannot do in To, you can do with Tara. For example, you can request Kudasai, you can command Nasai, Ikinasai, you can suggest Shimasho. You can invite Masenka and you can also show desire. Iki Tai. So, you can do all these things. Now, the outcome has to be specific, that is, it is not a regular thing that is happening all the time, that this situation is there and this is the outcome. No, that is not happening in Tara, that happens in To. So, it is a time specific thing, it happens only once. If this situation is there, then this might happen. It is not a regular action which will happen any time this situation is there. No, it will only happen once. So, that is the most important thing over here with Tara. And also initially, the easiest conditional and in an easy way comfortably the conditional that you can use is Tara. It works for all situations 95 percent of the time you will not make a mistake. With To you have to remember should I do this, should I do this, in what situation do I speak. So, initially try to use Tara, get comfortable with the conditional and then go on to using to and also the next one that I am going to do which is ba. So, let us see what we have for ba. So, now ba is also very similar to tara. The difference is that tara is more informal, it is used in conversation whereas ba which we are going to do now is used more in written Japanese and is used to ask advice, to ask questions to take advice from somebody. So, let us see what it is. Now, ba is formal, ba expresses a general relationship between S1 and S2 that is sentence 1 and sentence 2. It concentrates more on the result, it is hypothetical conditions, situations. So, can express hope, request or command or wish like Tara. So, let us see the examples and try to understand what it is. But before that, you have done ba earlier in ikanakereba nari masen, which is a must. I have to do it. Ashita shiken ga aru kara ima benkyo shinakereba nari masen. Benkyo shinakereba. Kereba nara nai. Gakusei wa benkyo shi na kereba nara nai. They have to study very hard. So, this part we have done a little. Now, look at these sentences. Sensei, do sureba nihongo ga jozu ni narimasu ka? What shall I do that my Japanese becomes better? So, sensei says, mai nichi renshu sureba jozu ni narimasu yo. So, he is informal that every day if you do renshu, 
So, what is important over here? Rao San is looking at this part, how do I become better? So, he is asking advice, he wants to know and then he says Sureba. Then Sensei says, if you do Renshu every day, without Renshu nothing is happening. So, if you do Renshu, then you will become better. If you work hard, you will pass. So, those are the kind of sentences which are used more in bar form. Of course, you can use Tara as well over here, but this is a clear example of asking for advice, which is what ba is used for, asking questions. So, jozu ni narimasu. Another one is, ashita nani wo shimasu ka? What are you going to do tomorrow? So, then over here, isogashiku nakereba, if I am not busy, then kazoku to isho ni restaurant de shokuji wo shimasu. So, I will have food with my family at the restaurant. So, isogashiku nakereba in negative. If I am not busy then, now how do you make ba? Ikeru in potential form, nomeru, hanaseru, arukeru, showing your potential that you can do a certain thing, then remove the ru and put ba, simple. This is group 1. For group 2, tabe mas, remove the mas and put reba, tabe reba, ne mas, ne reba. So, for group 2, you put reba over here. So, reba and kureba are group 3 as is given over here and takai, remove the i and put taka. Kereba, Yasu Kereba and Chisa Kereba with adjectives. So, you can use the bar form like this in your sentences with I adjectives Kereba as I just have shown to you and with Na and Noun adjectives it is Sensei De Areba, De has to be added, Genki De Areba and Chizuka De and let us see some sentences over here. Yasukereba kaimas. If it is cheap, I am going to buy. Sensei ni kikeba. If you ask, sensei. So this is with noun, this is with adjective. Sugu ikeba. Immediately if you go, then Maniaimas that you will be able to make it. You will be able to reach wherever you want to go or do whatever you want to do in time. Sensei ni kikeba. When you ask, sensei, sugu wakarimas. You will immediately understand. Sumimasen, dekireba, kore mo yatte kudasai. So, it is a request. So, sumimasen. Dekireba, if you are able to do, if you have the time, kore mo yatte kudasai. Or kuremasen ka will make the same thing, polite. Then sumimasen, jikan ga areba, if you have the time. This is with verb. Aru is the verb over here. Jikan ga areba, kore mo yatte kuremasen ka, very, very polite, yatte kuremasen ka. Similarly, sumimasen, dekireba, kore mo yatte kuremasen ka. Polite request to do something if you have the time. So, you can use it with kudasai also making it a little informal, more of an order and with kuremasen ka making it polite and a request and a humble request. Now, what is the important thing to remember in to, which you have done earlier? To describes a cause effect relationship, something that happens at regular intervals and easiest thing to remember over here is as a natural occurrence and is 
non-controllable. Something that you cannot control that will happen anyway. For example, Haruni Naruto, Haruni Naruto Sakuraga Saki Mas. So, whether you like it or not, when it's spring, Sakura is definitely going to bloom. So, it's a natural occurrence which happens at regular intervals. So, you cannot do much about it. So, then to is to be used. So, we can remember it as natural occurrence which is not in your hands. Then Tara can express something which is hypothetical and it is used more in spoken Japanese as I have told you earlier. For example, okane atara uchi okaimasu. So, when I have the money, this is just thinking about the future. There is no evidence that you have money now or you are going to have money. It is a situation which is hypothetical and then you think of the result and say that if I have money, then what am I going to do with the money? I am going to buy a house. So, it is a very, very different kind of a situation. So, basically, to is natural and tara you can use in all the places where you cannot use to. Then ba is a formal conditional and is generally used in written Japanese and as you have seen the example also generally used for asking advice. For example, do sureba ii desu ka? Sensei chotto guai ga warui desu. Do sureba ii desu ka? I am not feeling well, what should I do? So, sensei says, kusuri wo nomeba genki ni narimasu. This is asking, this is giving advice. Kono kusuri wo nomeba genki ni narimasu. You will become all right. So, these are the differences here. There are many, many more. These are not the only differences, not the only kind of sentences that you can make with to, tara and ba. But well, for the limited Japanese that you know at the moment, this will suffice. There are many, many more uh, do's and don'ts for conditionals, but we do not have to think about it at the moment. Then there is daijobu desu. So, kono kusuri wo no me ba daijobu desu yo. So, you will be all right. It is all right if you take this medicine. Now, there is kanji. I just did this kanji with you. Heya. So, like this this one and then make a doyobi here. Then you have oshieru. We I think did this kanji in our last uh, lesson also oshieru. And then we have kanji of course, which is new. So, let us see what it is like this and then over here and g means character. So, this is kanji for the kanji that we keep doing all the time. This is kanji itself, kanji. You can remember this reading and then gakko we have done earlier number of times just for you to remember that this is the way it is to be joined. You have done gakku. So, gakko a word to remember. You have done it with daigaku, daigakusei. Then I think I told you about these short forms in your last class and I had said that we are going to talk about nakereba narimasen which I just did. So, verb nakereba narimasen can be shortened and nakya can be used. The Japanese use this a lot because, well, this is too long. So, gakusei wa benkyo shinakya or ashita shiken ga aru kara kyo benkyo shinakya I must do. You may not use it or may not be able to use it initially, but at least when you get to hear in animation and someone saying it or in pictures, you will know what it means. So, these are some of the things which we could have done in detail, but we do not have that kind of time. So, we can leave it at this. And with this, I would like to finish today's class. Well, today's class is the last class as I told you in the beginning. 
for this series. We have done a lot of things here. We have covered idioms and phrases, lot of grammar, expressions, greetings, this short form that we did just now. So, there is lots for you to do, lots of things you can take from here. Some things may be a little difficult, some are easy. So, try to do those and uh, I hope that after this course, your uh, doubts have been removed. All the things that you wanted to ask have been addressed and your spoken skills have improved and some amount of interest has been generated in all of you to learn more kanji and more Japanese. So, I leave you with this. Enjoy learning Japanese and I hope you have enjoyed as much as I have enjoyed teaching all of you. So, there could have been some things I wanted to do here, I could not. Lot of things I wanted to tell, but I could not. There could have been some mistakes. Some things I have corrected, maybe some things are still left. So, you can sort of go on the net, check it out and see for yourself and educate yourself. So, with this, thank you very much all of you and all the very best to you. Enjoy learning Japanese. Thank you very much. Wakaranai kedo, mata itsuka aimashou.